Everybody has got one of these in their home and you may have several of these in your workplace. But how does your consumer unit or fuse board is the old term, how does it actually work? There are no fuses in here. So although we call it a fuse board, that's kind of long gone now. So that's the olden term for it. So we actually call it a consumer unit now. Um, in the workplace, it might be called a distribution panel uh, just because it's larger. But I will show you exactly how the electricity travels through this board now. Before I start, I'm just gonna say this fuse board or consumer unit is completely dead. Um, it's not actually connected up yet. We're, we're halfway through a rewire. So the other end of the uh, meter tails is there. So this is all nice and safely uh, de-energized. What we've got here, I'll just take this buzz bar cover off. So in here, these are our main cables or meter tails coming in from the electricity meter. So they pass through this red switch, which is our main isolator. So if you want to turn everything off, that red switch has got to be in the off position, which is down for this one. So until that gets pushed through like that, so this uh, terminal here with the live will go and tra be transferred into here, and this neutral will be transferred into here. The neutral then will be traveling up the back up to this neutral bar. The live power will then go into what's called a buzz bar, which is this copper bar here, and that will travel across at the bottom and feed the power into the bottom of all of these RCBOs. So these are uh, protective devices which will uh, trip in the event of a fault. So at the moment, although we've got the red switch on, it's coming through here because we've got the, um, the individual circuit uh, breakers or RCBOs off, the power will not be transferred back up to these. So you then have to push these into the on position and the live power can be tra uh, transferred from here up to our live terminal and these are our outgoing circuits to all of our house. So this is the shower, um, cooker, sockets, sockets, boiler, lights, lights and smokes. So if you've got this in the off position, it will stop the power transferring from here to the bottom. And if you've got these off, it will stop it going from the bottom to the top. Now, obviously there's many different types of fuse boards out there. So it depends which one you have. You may not have an as advanced uh, consumer unit here as we have on this one. We've also got our surge protection here, which will protect all of our electronic devices from um, surge in the electricity supply, which can damage electronic components. Um, but you may have a different type of fuse board here. So this is our one. Uh, so this is an 18th edition consumer unit. So one of the uh, most advanced, basically there's only one type of fuse board or consumer unit, which we could have, which is a bit more advanced than this, but because it's new technology, obviously it's a bit more expensive. So this is our bread and butter day-to-day -day type of uh, layout here for a consumer unit. But that's how it works. So power in, through the main isolator, through the buzz bar, and then back out to all of our outgoing ways.